You just gotta go out and kick butt. That's all you gotta do. You just gotta kick butt. Welcome to our 30 minute full body standing workout with dumbbells today. This is for strength training and I am so glad that you are here today. I believe this is our third live strength class together. So I just wanna say thank you so much for being here because it is always better to work out with a friend. And right now we're working out with a bunch of our friends from around the world and I am so happy that you are one of them. For this workout today, like I mentioned, you're gonna need your dumbbells. Um, also a water bottle and a towel may be handy as well. We have some uh, new equipment in the studio today, so you will see Stella a little bit more often because now we have an additional camera angle where we can include her. So uh, I think we're gonna get started. If, if you don't know who I am, let's just say you're brand new, I'm Kaylee, and we are all, are all about building strength, building confidence, and um, reaching your goals. I was like, what do I usually say? <laughs> That's what it's about. Anywho, all right, for this workout, we're gonna start with a warm up. I just wanna let you know, I am gonna be going a little bit lighter today. And for some of the exercises, I may not use weights just because I'm not feeling 100% today. So I wanna make sure I take it easy, but please, please, please do not let that hinder you from going heavy and going all out for this workout. But just wanted to give you a heads up on that. We are gonna start with our warm up to make sure everything is ready to go. So let's just start opening and closing. And again, we're gonna try to keep this workout right around 30 minutes because we do have to switch everything up for that cycling workout. And it takes us about 20 minutes or so. Oh, yep, start your watch. I'm using the functional training today just because I'm not going super heavy, but if you are planning to go heavy for this workout, then the strength training may be ideal for you. But arm circles back now, big reaches back, keeping your core engaged, keeping your chest up. And if there are any, I know it's hard to type while you're, while you're doing this workout, but if you do have any questions, you wanna leave them in the, um, in the chat, you can do that and hopefully Jason can get to those and we can answer those either during the workout or if we do have any time after, we'll try to do that as well. A few more circles forward and then we're gonna reach overhead. Last one, now feet are out wide and we're just gonna reach from side to side here, holding it for just a second. Stretching the upper body, then we're gonna work our way down to the lower body. And last one on this side. Good, let's take a wide stance. We're gonna go into a slow sumo squat. So toes angled out and let's squat down and up. Nice and slow, keeping your chest up, thinking about your form. We know, you know, form free. Down and up. And the weight stays in your heels here as well. Good, we're gonna do two more and then we're gonna lower it down in that sumo squat. Hands are gonna be right above your knees and we are gonna twist, stretching our back here a little bit and the arms and shoulders. You can even press out here and get that inner thigh stretch. And we'll do one more on this side. Good, now bring those toes straight in front of you. We're gonna go for a side lunge and then off to the other side. So just hold it here for a second and then right on over. This workout today, as I mentioned again, it's a full body workout. So we have supersets that we're gonna do. Supersets are super challenging because it keeps that muscle under tension longer, which is a higher intensity form of strength training, but also really helps to build the strength in your muscles. So we are gonna work supersets for the same muscle group. We're gonna go through each exercise twice before moving on, working 30 seconds, and then resting for 30 seconds after those two exercises are complete. Last one here. So let's go ahead, let's get right into things. First exercise we're gonna do is a close grip row. So we're gonna be hinged at the hips, rowing. We can have two dumbbells and we're gonna row it up right here. And then we're gonna go into a rear delt fly. So really working the back for this first superset, grab a weight you feel comfortable with and let's do this. I'm actually gonna do two different sizes for this first one. This is, oh, I tried to um, combine exercises where you would not have to switch your weight. So let's begin. Close grip row. Good, keeping your back flat. And again, thinking belly button to spine. If you have a chance to work your core, work your core. Good, breathing. You don't want your elbows flaring out here, so make sure they are staying close as well. We've got a few more seconds. 
If you're switching weight, you're gonna grab that weight, go right into that rear delt fly. Last one, good, all right. Going right in to our rear delt fly, so hinge it over and begin. So your deltoid is the back of your shoulder muscle. Good. Again, go at a pace you feel comfortable with. Breathe out right here at the top and then slowly lower down. Almost there and then you get 30 seconds to recover. One more. Good, set your weight down. Grab a drink, dry off. Did you go heavy enough? Do you need to adjust your weight for the next round through? So we do this two times. Then we're gonna move on to the chest. Then we're gonna work our chest muscles. After this, oh, I enjoy this 30 second rest. Oh my. Breathing. Also, I have not mentioned, it would be super, super helpful and kind of you if you would give the video a thumbs up as well, because it really does help to share the workouts with other people, but going right back into that row whenever you get a chance. No rush. Here we go. Good. Squeeze it up. And breathing. You can also use one super heavy dumbbell here as well and cross your fingers. That is actually usually what I do for this move, but what's it doing? Good. Squeeze. You've got a slight bend in your knee as well. Last one. Good, lower it down, let's switch it up. Right into that rear delt fly. And let's begin. You may also notice the kettlebells back here behind me, and that's because I did not want to forget to remind you that next week on the Strength Channel, right here is kettlebell week. So we are working all things kettlebell. And um, let me just say, if you do not have a kettlebell, I will highly recommend one because it really challenges you in a whole new way. So you know it's always important to mix up your training. And I'm telling you, the kettlebells will do just that. Last one. So you can find a link to recommendations for kettlebells down in the description through my Amazon store as well. Now we have a little bit of a break. Next thing we're going into is a standing chest fly. Again, this is all standing, so we're gonna work our chest standing. You may wanna go a little bit lighter for this move, but we're gonna take and go across, slight bend in the elbow, and then, so we're gonna alternate arms. And then we're gonna do a standing chest press, out. So again, you may wanna go a little bit lighter for this, but let's grab our weights. And let's begin. So again, thinking about those chest muscles, think about squeezing where your shoulder meets the old pit ski there. We'll call it that today. <laughs> oh, yay, Andrea. I'm so glad you're excited about kettlebells. I'm, I was excited about kettlebells too. I was, um, yeah, I'm telling you what, my inner thighs right now. So what we have, we have a full body kettlebell workout. That should probably be out on Friday. And then we have an upper body and a lower body. So that'll be Monday uh, and we're done. Standing chest, I am not paying attention to the clock. So here we go, standing chest press, keep your elbows up here. So don't let your elbows come down. You wanna keep them up. Again, think about squeezing those chest muscles. Good. Super challenging because we're taking that weight away from our center of gravity, which, oh, you realize that something that wouldn't necessarily be too heavy for you is very heavy. Good, let's do one more and out. 30 seconds and we do those same two exercises again. So grab a drink, dry off anytime you need to and adjust your weight. Don't, don't follow me. <laughs> Go heavy enough because we are here for just 30 minutes today. And we're gonna make it count. And also, the cycling workout today is a steam climb ride. And again, just because I was feeling, I'm feeling a little blah, but that's okay. We're still here, we're still kicking butt. We are, it's gonna be a 45 minute ride. So back into those chest flies, out. Good. And squeeze, you can take um, just a wide stance too, whatever you feel comfortable with, or the staggered stance. I just feel like a staggered stance 
lets the weights run a little bit more free than when both of my legs are moving away. Good, squeeze it up. Let's do one more each side. I think this will make us even. <laughs> Good, all right, right into that chest press. Here we go. Double duty on the muscle groups today. So this is all chest. Next, we're gonna hit the lower body. So we're gonna be working squats. Breathing and press. Good, keep your core engaged, chest up. Don't let those elbows drop down. If it gets too challenging, do one and then the other. Last one, good, 30 seconds, and then we're gonna go into squat. So I'll show you the squat exercises. All right, squat exercises. We're gonna do a goblet squat, so we're gonna hold the weight in front of us, down and up, and then we're gonna bring that squat twist back. So if you were here last week, or if you did the workout, we're gonna do a squat. We did do a press, but this time we're just gonna do a squat and a twist. So we're gonna hold two dumbbells up right here, Again, I heard that was a challenging move, so we wanna make sure we bring those back. But let's begin, goblet squat, here we go. Keep your chest up, squeeze the glutes at the top, down, holding that weight in front of you. You can also do this with no weight as well. You can do both of these squat exercises with no weight. Apparently there's a sail at the gap. Better get my bum over there. No, I'm just kidding. Jason's like, mm -mm. <laughs> Down. Let's do one more. Down and up. Good. I'm just gonna switch my weight around. Going right in to that squat and twist. So hold that weight up here. Down and twist. Down, opposite side, now twist. And twist. So when you find an exercise that really challenges you, you should work on it because that's gonna help you get stronger in that area. Breathe, good, twist. May not always be our favorite thing to do, but last one, down and twist. All right, 30 seconds and we go back into our goblet squat. Anytime you need to grab a drink, do that. We're a little bit lighter on the lower body today just because I knew what climb workout was coming. And yes, you can see Stella is still covered in paint. What? Oh my God. <laughs> oh dear, Stella. All right. We're gonna go that goblet squat again. In three, two, and one. Here we go. Down and up. Don't miss out on the squeeze at the top of that squat. So squeeze, push your hips forward just a bit. Good, more than halfway, keep the weight in your heels, sink back into that, and then drive back up here. Good, I think we have got time for one more after this, last one, and then get ready for that squat twist. Perfect. Here we go. Squat and twist. Last time through for squats. And then we're gonna go work our shoulders. And then we've got abs. We're gonna do standing abs again. Down and up. And twist. Almost there. Heart rate gets up again when we work that lower body. And one more. Down and twist, 30 seconds. Let's see, what do we have? Oh yeah, I'm gonna keep these weights. Let me show you the next two exercises. We're gonna do an L raise, I call it an L raise. It's where you do a front and a side raise right here. And then we're gonna go into a close grip press. So weights will be together and we're gonna press up, bringing it back down to your chest and up. I'm just gonna put this weight away. The last thing we need is me tripping on a weight. Here we go. Good, control it up and down. You don't need to let it go too high here. 
stop it right there, right around shoulder height, and then lower it back down. And lift, good. Again, core is engaged, slight bend in your knees. Almost there. Let's do one more, and then right into that close grip press. Here we are, weights together, press it up and down. So keep your elbows in when you lift, and then lower back down. Good, press. Keep your knees soft. More than halfway. Are you feeling the shoulders? Mine are awake, that is for sure. Whew. Almost there. Good, one more. 30 seconds to recover. I'm gonna dry off really quick. Whew. Also gonna use my Stella water bottle. You, wow. All right, halfway through this recovery. Gotta wet the whistle. And you know I don't usually do that during a workout, so. <laughs> oh, tastes good though. All right, here we go. L raise, let's begin. And lift and lower. So with this move, we're working the front and medial portion of our shoulder. So we've hit all the areas of our shoulder today because we've hit the rear deltoid, front and the medial. Really working on that sculpted shoulder. So if you're looking for that, here's some exercises for you. Good, let's do one more. Close grip, bring the weights together, and let's begin. Elbows tucked in, not out here. Keep them in and down. So when you bring those up, you should feel your elbows right at your temple. Good, and press. Core is engaged. How are we doing in the chat? Is there anything, Jason, that we need to answer? I know, it's hard to type when you only have 30 seconds and you're like, hold on, I'm sweating, I need to dry off. I can't see, I need to get a drink. Are we done? We're done. That was our, we're 30 seconds of rest. All right, what do we have next? Next. You do not need dumbbells. Um, Andrea says, so glad we don't use shoulders to cycle. So <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> it's a good point, good point. <laughs> that is a good point. That would be, oh my God. All right, the next exercise. We're gonna go two exercises working standing abs. Really gonna target the um, obliques on this one. So you can lower it down or you can keep it up, but we're gonna do a side bend, center, side bend, and then we're gonna do a standing knee pull, alternating sides. Here we go, 30 seconds. So with this move, you wanna imagine you are stuck in between two walls. Hope no one's claustrophobic in here because we are pinned in the walls here. You don't wanna lean forward. You don't wanna lean too far back. You wanna keep a straight line here. And then back to center, good. Oh my, the OBs are working. Last one, good. So standing knee pull now. Hold it for a second and down. Extend your arms up, breathe out. The key to really help engage your abs here. Belly button to spine. You want to engage the abs and then pull. Oh yes, that's awesome Anne Marie. I love that. I actually like my water room temperature. <laughs> oh, I'm coughing, excuse me. Don't get out of coughing. <laughs> but it is nice to have ice for sure, especially here because I think it was 49 today. Was it not, Jason? Did it reach 49? Yeah, I got up to 49, 50 degrees Celsius this weekend. So hot, so hot. <laughs> We're breathing, we've got just a few seconds and then we'll go back in. This is our only uh, these are the only two ab exercises we have, so count. 
again, so when you think about squeezing belly button to spine, you wanna make sure your hips are tucked under and you squeeze that belly button. If you wanna try it right now, you can even feel your abs engage. So that is gonna help you get the most out of these ab, all your ab exercises. Here we go. And squeeze, good. You can make the same faces if you need to. <laughs> I always make the most ridiculous faces when I... <sighs> We're all friends, so you know what? The good, the bad, and the ugly are all, are all right here for you. And bend, good. Squeeze, think about the obliques. How many seconds? Okay, just, oh, last one. Good, standing, tuck now. Extend and pull. Hold it for just a second and then release it. Control the leg up and down. Working our balance muscles as well. But if you've been doing last week's workouts, if you do those for the next couple of weeks, you will definitely notice your balance improving for these type of moves. Lower body is next. We're gonna work lunges, squeeze. Good, last one, and extend. All right, next two exercises, it's going to be, we're still, well, we're still gonna work the core a little bit with this one, but we're gonna stay on one side for our lunges, and then we're gonna switch sides. So I'm just gonna move up, so I have enough room, and I do. We're gonna do a reverse lunge with a knee pull, and then step back and pull again. So we're still gonna be working the core on this one, but then the next exercise, we'll just switch and do the other side. If the pull is too much, you can just do that reverse lunge, tap it, and pull. But here we go. Good, keep the weight in your heel for this leading leg. <laughs> Eva, oh my gosh, that is so cute. <laughs> I love that so much. Poor little fishy. That's so funny. I'm laughing and now I'm losing my balance. I could never pass up a joke like that. Wait till the kids hear that one. Good, pull, last one. All right, we're gonna switch sides right into it. Now we're really working the quad muscles. We've also got the glutes involved and the abs. Good old compound move. And pull, halfway. So we repeat this twice. And pull, last one, down and pull. 30 seconds. Oh, I'm gonna dry off. All right. Breathing. Is everyone sticking around for cycling after this? Or did you just show up for strength today? Yeah, the, the cycling, I think I mentioned the cycling workout will be just about 45 minutes. Breathing. A few seconds left. We're gonna go right back into that lunge. Then we're gonna go back with our weights. Here we go. And pull. Slow and controlled. Halfway. The leaning tower of lunges. <laughs> how I feel right now. Last one. Good, switch it up. We're nearing the end. We gotta make sure that uh, we get through this whole workout this time. So, I gotta make sure I hit my mark on the timer. Good. And pull. Almost there. Again, keep that core engaged. Let's do one more. Good, 30 seconds. All right, next exercise is, next exercise is, we're gonna do a hanging curl, so we're gonna be down. This is a challenging move just to give you a heads up for your weight, but we're gonna curl it up. 
So you're gonna hang and curl. If that is too intense, you can just do a regular bicep curl, then right into the hammer curl. Whew. So let's get into position. Here we go. So you bring this right up near your forehead, but there's no momentum in this move, which makes it super challenging. Focusing on that bicep muscle. Again, back flat, core engaged. Almost there. And then right into the hammer curl. So your palms are gonna face you. We're gonna stand back up. Good, bring it up. Hammer curl, here we go. Leading with your thumbs. Keep those elbows tucked in, not out. Almost halfway. We'll get 30 seconds and then we repeat. We've worked the large up, upper body muscles and then we're moving down to those smaller upper body muscles. So we're gonna finish out with triceps and then sumo squats. Last one. We are done, 30 seconds. Dry off if you need to. My word, I am. I feel like a little, I don't know. An iced tea on a hot summer day when the glass is all like drenched in condensation. Okay, what do we, we have 10 seconds. Going back into that hang curl. I don't think you got it. We're trying to turn the air on. In three, two, one, let's begin. Good. Oh yeah, that's much better. Thank you for turning the air on. Good, curl. 10 seconds. Good, one more. Right into hammer curl, bring it up. Get yourself into position and let's begin. Good. Extend all the way down. Make sure you're getting that full range of motion all the way down, all the way up. Good. You're doing awesome, I must say. This was, um, this is a challenging workout. And I can only imagine if I was, if I used the weights that you So, yes. Last one, good. All right, next two exercises. Now we're hitting the back of the arm, the good old tricep muscle. We're gonna do an overhead tricep extension. So you can use one or two weights, but up overhead, down and up, keeping your elbows close to your temples and then hinging it down, kickbacks. So those are the next two exercises for triceps. A few seconds and we go. We'll do this two times through. Let's get our weights up there and here we go. Down and up. And squeeze. Think about pressing those weights back up to the sky here. Control it down and up. You can also take a wide stance here, more staggered. Up. And press. Last one. Down and press. Good. Bring your weights down carefully. We are going to hinge it and we're going to do a tricep kickback. Here we go. You want to make sure you're keeping your elbows up high, not down. So get them up and then press back. Ten seconds. Don't forget to breathe right here at the top of that move, right here, breathe out. Last one, good, all right, 30 seconds, and then we go again. <sighs> Apparently this is a good song, Jason is jamming out back there. I cannot hear the music, but I will tell you, I'm gonna work on a new playlist because we have used this playlist <laughs> for 
of the last three live classes. This is actually the EDM hit ride um, playlist from our cycling class. But I actually really like all these songs. Usually when I do these workouts with you in their films, I actually tend to listen to... Are we go? Okay, here we go. I tend to listen to that playlist. Good. Press it up. Down and up. Good. Keep your core engaged. And like, make your shoulder. Hold on. Let me let me gather my thoughts. Keep your shoulders down away from your ears as well. <laughs> Last one. Right into tricep kickbacks. Here we go. Last time through. So make these little puppies. We're going. You're kicking butt. You're doing awesome. <clears throat> I gotta tell you, I am feeling better already. I'm so glad. <sighs> so we are here this morning together. <clears throat> Sorry. Almost there. Let's do one more. Press it back. Good. All right. Next two exercises. I was thinking. So this is a uh, this is our sumo section. So all of our foot positions for these two exercises are going to be in a sumo squat. We are going to do a good morning, a sumo good morning. So I'm just going to turn to the side. You can bring your weights up here. You can also use. You don't have to use weights if you don't want to. But this is really going to work our glutes, hamstrings. We're going to hinge it over so those toes are out, and then pull it back up, and then down and up. And then we're going to do a sumo squat, <clears throat> down and up. So those are our two exercises. Here we go. Actually, I'll face this way. Down. Good. Changing that foot position can really help you target new muscles that you may not otherwise get with that normal stance. Good. Squeeze it up. Just a slight bend in your knee. Don't lock your knees. Almost there. But again, you want to think about using your hamstrings and glutes to pull you up. Last one. Good. Now going into our sumo squat. Let's begin. And squeeze it up. Squeeze the glutes at the top. This is going to finish out our workout. Ending on legs, and then we will be right into cycling in, what time is it? Ooh, in less than 30 minutes. Cycling will begin, so you will have enough time to dry off, grab some coffee, a little snack maybe. Last one, good. We might cut this recovery just short by a smidge, just to make sure that we get it all in before we have to switch it over. All right. So back into those sumo good mornings. Again, you don't have to use weight for this, but if you are, it'll be right up here on your shoulders. We'll go in three, and two, and one. Here we go. And pull. So weight is in your heels your bum back behind you and let your eyes follow down as you go. Good. Eight seconds. Last one. Perfect. Sumo squat. Bring the weights down. Here we go. 30 seconds to finish this workout. Up. Squeeze. Oh yeah, also, while you're, while you're waiting for the cycling class, you can check out the kettlebells too. If you need those, you can find the link in the description. Good. Squeeze. Last one down and squeeze. You did it. That was amazing. I cannot thank you enough for joining me for this workout. 
If this is your last workout, don't forget to, I can't really point over there because I don't know if the stretch will be over there or not. Or, I'm used to doing this, or we will be cycling here very shortly. Thank you so, so, so much. And I will see you very soon for cycling or for our stretch.